Hey, welcome back to training video 11. Let's quickly cover the four weapon safety rules before we get going. First weapon safety rule is treat every weapon as if it is loaded, even when you know that it's not. The second weapon safety rule is never point your weapon at anything you aren't willing to destroy. The third weapon safety rule, keep your fingers straight and off the trigger until you're up on target and ready to fire. And the fourth rule is know your target and what lies beyond. All right, now let's clear our pistol. If you have a manual safety, put your safety on, remove your magazine, lock your slide to the rear, conduct your three-point check of your chamber, magazine well, and slide face, ensure all three areas are clear of any bullets, send your slide home, and now we know our pistol is completely clear. If for any reason you're unable to ensure that your pistol is completely clear right now, do not continue training with this video. All right, today's lesson has two segments. We're gonna start with multiple target engagement like we did last time, but this time we're gonna be shooting three targets instead of two, and then we're gonna do our grip strength workout at the end, so let's get to work. All right, just like last video, we're gonna need three targets already set up, and so the angle that we're looking for is roughly here, nothing crazy. The closer they are together, the easier it's gonna be, the further apart, the harder it's gonna be. Don't make it too hard on yourself. This is only the second time we've ever doing this, so uh, set those up, and if you need a little bit of time, pause the video, otherwise let's get going. All right, let's jump right into it. So remember, up on your target, you can go from left to right or right to left first, but remember, laser focus on your target, and then 90-10 rule. Dart with your eyes first, go quickly 90%, and the last 10% is your breaks. That's where you like slow down so you don't you know, over swing your target. And then on your third target, we're gonna pull the trigger and practice a smooth, steady trigger pull. So up, eyes first, dart over, eyes first, dart over, pull the trigger. Remember that mouse example, right? You're not following the gun, you're looking with your sights, you're, or you're looking with your eyes, you're leading with your eyes. and laser focus on where you want that gun to go. And the gun eventually, over time, with practice, it will just go there. Remember your belt buckle, right, as you turn. It's not just your, you know, you don't want my, I don't want my belt buckle facing this way and then I'm pointing over here. All right, so as I turn, I twist my whole body and then I pull the trigger. And this is a this is an, this is an advanced topic. I threw this in there because it's an important concept to know. It's also fun to train. But you don't have to get good at multiple target engagement in two videos. And you're not gonna be able to, right? So don't feel like by the end of these two videos, right, 10 and 11, you have to be swinging from target to target like a pro super duper fast. Take your time with this, you know, push yourself, but if your fundamentals start to break down and you know, you keep over swinging, you keep making mistakes, then just slow it down until that stops and that's the pace that you need to go to. And then start pushing yourself little by little, you know, and then making mistakes is good because that's where you learn. But you don't want to make so many mistakes that really you're just having poor you know, poor practice. So find that sweet spot. And remember, we're practicing, practicing this two times, right? We've practiced our grip in every single video, you know, sight alignment a ton of times, point shooting tons of times. So this is a pretty new concept. We just learned it last video. So if you don't have a whole lot of experience with this, if the last video was the very first time you've ever really practiced multiple target engagements, don't hold yourself to some crazy high standard. You know, this is like, we've practiced this for a grand total of 10 minutes. So, be realistic and go with the speed you need to go to to have good practice, instill the fundamentals that you need, and get that good muscle memory so that you're instilling good habits, not poor ones. All right, laser focus on your target, and smooth, steady trigger pull. Make sure you're not jerking the trigger once you get to that final target. And once you start moving, you know, it can be hard. Like, oh, did I jerk my trigger? You just have to really focus on your sights or your, you know, kind of, if you have a red dot, you want to be focused on your target. But just 
you can see, even if you're focused on your target, you can see what your red dot's doing. And if you have iron sights and you're focused on your front sight tip, you want that red dot or front sight tip, whatever you have, to just not move. So if it's moving a lot, that means you're jerking your trigger. Your fundamentals are breaking down. So you can slow it back down. Smooth, steady trigger pull. Because there's a difference between a fast, smooth, and steady trigger pull and jerking the trigger. And the way that you can tell is if your sights are moving all over the place. If your sights aren't moving, then that's a smooth, that's a fast, but smooth and steady trigger pull. If your sights move all over the place, when you get to your third target, you pull the trigger, your sights move all over the place, then you know, okay, that's not smooth and steady. All right, let's go the other way. Remember to vice grip down with that support hand. It's just as important in video 11 as it was in video one, and it's gonna be important for the rest of your shooting career. No matter what you do with it. You wanna compete, you just wanna have a gun to defend yourself, no matter what, that support hand has got to be tight. So don't forget about it. Overswung a little bit right there. So just remember, be intentional every single rep because you want to make sure that you're pushing yourself, but if you're making mistakes, just learn from that mistake and then the next rep, Try to, okay, what did I do right there? And for me, I was like, I wasn't as laser focused on that target as I was on my other two. So that was better. I got a little sloppy during that one rep and yeah, it happens. Better, 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 better. All right, so up on target, eyes first, then the pistol, 90-10, belt buckle moves as well, smooth, steady trigger pull at the end. And if you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable, then speed up. But if you start having bad reps, then slow it back down. There's no point in speeding it up if you're just having bad reps. All right, let's go the other way. Boom, boom, boom. That was a terrible rep. Boom, boom, boom. Better. Boom, boom. Laser focus on that target. You go from center of your target to center of your target to center of your target. It's not target to target to target. Target. It's the center of the first target to the very center of the second target is where not you're just pointing, that's where you're looking. You're looking with all of your intensity right on the center of that target. Boom, boom, boom. And if you do that, it's surprising. It really will just kind of hone your gun. It'll, your gun will naturally just kind of want to go there. But if you're more general with your vision, your gun just kind of floats in the general area. And that's not what we're looking for. I overswung right there a little bit on that second target. That was better. Really good rep. Boom, boom, boom. Locking it in. Boom, boom, boom. Might start to sweat a little bit. Yeah. Put the pistol down and wipe your hands off. All right, let's go the other way one more time. Boom, boom. 
Holding it in. All right, two more times. All right, I hope you have, you know, gotten the feel for multiple target engagement. Feel free to like watch these videos again if you need a little bit more time. Otherwise, let's go on to our grip strength workout. All right, you know the drill. So this time, I mean, this is second to last video. So do what you feel like doing to get the grip strength. If you wanna practice point shooting, you know, practice trigger control, practice aiming, you know, whatever you wanna do, do that. Just make sure once you punch out, pull the trigger or point shoot. You're holding that support hand tight and getting a good little workout in. And a little teaser for the final video. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't bring any new concepts in. It's a review of all of the most important topics, but I have a sick shirt. I put a lot of thought into my shirt. It's not just any old shirt. It totally stands out from the rest, which you're probably thinking, how does a shirt stand out from all of these shirts? But it does. And the intro is awesome. So, a little teaser. Show up for video 12 and you won't be disappointed. All right. It's been, probably been a while since we really focused on grip, you know, since you focused on your grip. So, high firm grip. High middle finger on the trigger guard, finger straighten off the trigger, thumb out of the way, index finger to the trigger guard, maximum contact, high and forward, make sure your thumb is correct, thumbs relaxed, punch out, vice group down with that support hand, cock your gun so that you can pull the trigger. Vice grip, vice grip, vice grip. The name of the game, at least for this section of the video. Stance is the name of the game, grips the name of the game, sight alignment's the name of the game, trigger control is the name of the game, high and forward is the name of the game. Lots of important things in pistol shooting, but. We're gonna be panning all around the room. Up, down, left, right. Kind of a broken record at this point, but all of these basic concepts, here's another broken record, are what you're gonna fall back on if you ever have to use these skills in real life. So, we've learned a lot in this course, but eventually it's just about instilling these points and beating them to a pulp in your head so you never, ever forget. All right, let's do this for another, another minute. Hope your hands start to get tired. Remember when you're gripping hard, you're not thumbing the pistol. Beginners, especially when they go to the range, they have a tendency to, once the gun starts recoiling and they start tensing everything up, those thumbs start pushing against the pistol. Keep those thumbs relaxed. Last rep. Nice and tight. Five, four, three, two, one. 
All right, that concludes this video. I hope you feel good about multiple target engagement, good grip, and until next time, our final video, our 12th video, stay safe, live free, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.